So I've been making and selling ram pumps now for over two years, but I've never actually looked into snifter valves. So today I'm going to be doing a test to see how well it works. Here's what I've got. I've got the half inch ram pump here and I've made this coke bottle um, gauge. So I'll be able to screw this onto for the pressure tank here. Um, and I've got uh, some numbers up to see uh, if this gains water as we pump. And then I'm going to be putting a uh, tiny hole in here as a snifter valve and we'll see if little uh, bits of air go into the tank here. So um, I broke my other ball valve. I stepped on it. I don't recommend doing that. So I unscrewed uh, this pipe here and I'll screw the drive pipe directly into this union. So I'm going to get this tank swapped out real quick. So here's the setup. About two foot of head on a hundred foot half inch drive pipe. I'm going to come down here and start pushing this valve, see if we can get it to start. And we should see water uh, start coming up into here. So I've primed the pump and it's working now. So I just want this to run for a while and I'm going to measure where the uh, water stops climbing on this little gauge over here. So let me give it about, uh, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, and we'll see where it is. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, and you can see the tank fell over a little bit, but it has uh, gone up to nine on the scale here. So now I'm gonna take a uh, 1.5 millimeter drill bit and put a hole in this T down here. And that should hopefully allow a little uh, burst of air to go into the tank every time. So let me do that real quick. Well, as you can see, that was highly ineffective. We're losing all pressure because it's just flying water straight out of there. There's still quite a bit of pressure inside of this tank, but nothing like it was before. And that is definitely not the um, type of valve we're going to need. So the reason I was testing this out, and I pretty much knew it was going to happen. Um, in the other design, the uh, waste valve is on the other side of the pressure tank. And um, whenever you put this in here, it actually allows... Um, an air bubble to come up without losing this pressure. So just as I had predicted, putting a hole caused the pressure to drop enough for the valve to close and not open again. So for the purpose of testing snifter valves, I'm going to um, put this T in front of the check valve and then put the check valve up so that the, um, the hole down here should suck in a little air um, when this moves. So I'm just going to do that change real quick and we'll give this another try. Okay, different day and 40 degrees warmer. I've got a new design here. Actually it's just uh, arranging the components a little different than it was before. So drive pipe comes in here. Um, this is the waste valve on this side and then uh, goes pressure up into here and fills the tank. And I've got this closed off like last time. So let me hook this up and we'll give it a test um, to see how well it works. Um, and then I'm going to um, re-drill through this uh, hole again to get uh, our snifter valve test. So um, let's see how well this thing works. Okay, I'm going to get this thing primed here. Okay, seems to be going. I'm going to let it sit for a little while and uh, make sure it's working and watch it uh, fill up the tank here. Okay, so that design uh, seems to work just fine. Now I'm going to go get the drill and put that hole back in there. And I guess I'll have to pull this out of the water enough to uh, allow air to go in there. So let me do that real quick. Okay, I've got that same... Uh, 1.5 millimeter bit. Okay, 
Okay, time to see how this test goes. So really that 1.5 uh, millimeter hole is still too big. Uh, I believe it should be a one millimeter, but let's see if we can get this thing primed here. What I'm seeing is that this is actually relieving enough pressure from uh, the feet of head that I have to stop the pump. So the hole is much too large. But if I uh, cover this, then the pump will work on its own. So, um, in order to have this snifter valve working, I would have to have more feet of head up the creek there. Because as soon as I let go of this valve or hole, it's going to do that and stop the whole system. So, time to increase the feet of head. I've increased the system to about seven feet of head, and I can tell this already is still going to be too uh, large of a hole for this to work. But I bet if I cover this up, it'll work immediately here. Yep. So this hole is just too big. I'll have to go back to the drawing board and continue to look at how to make the snifter valve for this style pump. So I've learned a lot about ram pumps over the past couple of years, and I sell the four different sizes on my website, but all of those pumps have a bladder inside of the pressure tank, and that um, keeps the water from being able to completely fill the tank as it would uh, without a bladder. And so the snifter valve is just supposed to be a means to uh, let a small bit of air gulp into the tank. Um, but I've never used that um, before, and that's what this testing is all about. So that being said, if you have used a snifter valve, I would love to hear about it in the comments section. So if you would um, help me out in that aspect, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully we'll get that valve working. Bye.